My name is Lucia Khaled. I'm originally born in Mexico. I live here in the U.S. Um, my or original name is Lucia Judith Sarco Cosgaya. That's my born name. My married name is Lucia Khaled. And um, um, I'm originally from Mexico, which is south of, you know, it's Latin America. My mom's name is Ruth. My father is Jesus. I'm the youngest of uh, four. Um, I have three older brothers and I'm the only girl. Um, and um, growing up, we grew up very Catholic. We are traditional Catholics, um, going to church every Sunday. My mom makes sure that at least I, I go to church every Sunday. And it was a must do thing to go. It was the social thing to go. Um, yes, my, my mom is from the south. Uh, from the south of Mexico. It's a, a state call, called Campeche. And my father is from the north of Mexico, which is closer to the U.S. and the border. It's called Chihuahua. And um, my father met my mom uh, by working, so he had to go to the south, and um, to the south of, of Mexico, and that's how he met her. My mom is from a very small village in this uh, city. And um, my dad is from a big town. So they actually fell in love. In six months they got married and my mom moved to the middle of the country which is where I was born and my brothers were born. Um, my father uh, is a mechanic engineer and my mom is a homemaker. Um, I have three older brothers. Um, the oldest of them is a the doctor. Um, he's married to a um, Panamanian also from Latin America. She is also a doctor. Uh, my, my brother, the middle of them, uh, he is um, an engineering, a chemical engineering. We, currently, he lives in Canada. And the youngest one is in Mexico. Um, he, he really, really didn't finish college, but he is uh, more into business and stuff like that. So he, he lives in Puebla, where my parents live. Um, like I said, we were a um, Catholic family. Um, we just, you know, we moved to the middle of, of, of Puebla. My dad got a house. Uh, that transition was uh, very stressful because we move away from everybody. So we were only us and that's it. Um, I grew up in this place for the next 20 years. I grew up there until I got married and I moved to the U.S. Puebla as Mexico, it's a I will say almost 99% Catholic. Um, where I live was one of the first uh, cities built when uh, Cortez and you know uh, Mexico was uh, discovered by uh, Colon and, and the Spaniards. That's one of the first cities that was built, and so you can find a church in every corner. And this is true, you, you go to the next corner, there's another church. So it's very conservative and very um, Catholic traditional, not orthodox, but just Catholic, you know, uh, um, just traditional and very conservative. Um, like I said, my, my dad, he was not a very religious man. He, he does believe in God. He does, you know, follow the, the rules and the etiquettes of what the religion is, but he wasn't, um, like, practicing Catholic. My mom is. My mom is, uh, the priest is in a higher place. The priest is the one that, you know, gives you advice on what to do, what not to do. Uh, she, like I said, she goes to church every Sunday. And even for us, we, um, she used to tell us, if you don't, if you don't do this, then you won't go to church. Like if you don't, if you don't wash your socks, for example, you and you don't go to church, you won't go out with your friends. That's something that she will say to us. I mean, it, going to church was a must. If we wanted to do any other social social thing, we had to go to church. So it was very strong and power wield. I also went to. Um, Catholic school 
it was not the regular school. It was just like religious school and it was run by nuns. That was a terrible thing. I mean, I, 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 I love my family and you know, everybody there that is Catholic, but going to the nuns, I think was uh, not a pleasant experience and we had to go. I had to go every Thursday. And um, they used to make us make, you know, drawings about, you know, Jesus and things like that. And, and I just had this thing that I, I never liked them. I never liked the way they treated us because there will be, uh, there will be like extra um, strict. And when, when you have questions about the religion, like for example, where does Jesus come? Or, you know, who's God? Or things like that. Catholicism has a block, right? There's like um, a wall and it, you're not allowed to ask questions. You're just allowed to believe and that's it. Um, which is different with Islam. The difference is that it's mixed with culture. It's mixed with the culture um, of before the, the pre-Catholic or the pre-Spaniard uh, conquered, right? So there's a lot of beliefs on saints. There's a lot of, um, uh, still everything is left, sometimes not even to Jesus, but to the saint of the town. Or for example, they will have different um, baby Jesus called different names and then each person will pray to whomever is convenient to pray like just an example there's one saint that is called um, San Antonio which single women will pray to to find a husband so I mean they will find just you know there's a lot of saints more than being uh, focused on God and Jesus, like in Rome or in uh, the Orthodox uh, Catholics, it, it's more like a mix with gods that they used to have before, but they changed them into saints, so the, popu the population will convert to Christianity. So if they had the God of the rain, let's say, right? The, the, the Spaniards changed the name of that person and put the name of a virgin, so the people will convert to Christianity, convert to Catholicism, and come to church. Mm. So, so it's not, it's not a re, a, for me, it's not a true like Orthodox Catholics, like, like there is in Jerusalem, for example. The Mexicans actually, they're called Aztecs. That was the main, the main um, society before the Spaniard came to America. So it was the Aztecs who lived there. They have their social uh, life. They have their own um, systems of living, right? Their levels from the peasants to the kings, to the governor, to the priest. And they had um, just gods, you know, like the gods of the rain, the god of fertility, the goddess of um, the, um, they have this god from um, corn because corn in, in my country is the main is the base of food. Corn used, I mean now of course with you know with the time has changed, but in the beginning corn is the base of, of food, and it was it, it, sometimes it, it, it was the the um, uh, transaction, the coin for transaction. So they had these different um, gods. So when the Spaniard came. They destroy many of the temples. They destroy many of the things. And then they, um, with their weapons and disease, because they brought disease to, um, to the Aztecs, they... Like sickness, sickness, yeah. Like, uh, you know, chicken pox and, you know, stuff like what that. Chicken pox? chicken pox, you know, the one you get little pimples uh, all over. We say, we say uh, chi chicken pox. We say a flower of sickness, yeah. Yeah, the, the, they brought it, mm -hmm. we didn't have it, and they brought it, and then they, um, you know, a lot of people die from that. So um, when they saw white people coming to the country, to the Aztec em um, Empire, um, they were, I think it caught them by surprise. So they didn't really retaliate or treat them as enemies. But then, you know, as more uh, Spaniards came to the country, they started to um, 
convert convert them to uh, uh, cr Christianity and, and um, like we're mixed. Like for example, in my family, um, my mom, her family is mixed of um, Indians from Mayans, which is on the south, and uh, blacks. And my dad is a uh, mix of Indians and uh, Spaniard. So that's why our looks is not totally, mm, you know, like um, indigenous from the country. So you can tell, you can see the difference between um, one and another. But I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I mean, you can find somebody that is really rich and looks, you know, indigenous, and you can find somebody that is really poor and is blonde with blue eyes. You know, it's it's exactly the same, the same uh, conversion system that they had, right? They had uh, pagans in, um, like Jerusalem and the Romans, right? They, had, they were pagans and they have a lot of gods. But when Jesus died, um, when Jesus died and, and they wanted to convert everybody else, then they mixed everything so people will be easier to practice Christianity. So the same thing happened in, in, in the Americas. All America, America, uh, Latin America, South America, it, ha it was the same thing. They took their own gods and switched them into a virgin or, uh, you know, the, oh, this is going to be the Jesus of this mountain, for example. So the, so the indigenous will have Instilling their minds is their God, but in the mind of the of the of the Christians that came to convert them, they are practicing uh, Catholicism. So it is, it's not the real deal, I will say. <laughs>